Kalara is a suburb on the upper north shore of Sydney in the state of New South Wales, Australia 14 km northwest of the Sydney Central Business District in the local government area of Koo Ringai Council. East Kalara is a separate suburb and West Kalara is a locality within Kalara. Kalara is an aboriginal word meaning permanent or always there. The name of the suburb was chosen when the railway line opened in 1899. James George Edwards was a representative of the people who requested a station be built here. The suburb was established as a gentleman's suburb to design so that there would be no commercial ventures in the area. For this reason, the suburb has very few shops in the original development. Kalara Post Office opened on November 7, 1904. Kalara later became the home of the famous architect Harry Seidler, whose home, designed by him and his wife Penelope in the 1960s, can still be seen in Kalong Avenue. It is sometimes known as Kalara House and sometimes as Harry and Penelope Seidler House. The couple moved into the house on Harry Seidler's birthday in 1967. The garden contains a sculpture by the Los Angeles sculptor Eric Orr. The house is heritage listed. Marion Street Theatre played a significant role in the cultural life of the North Shore. Kalara has a number of heritage listed sites, including, Kalara Railway Station is on the North Shore and Western Line of the Sydney Trains Network. The Pacific Highway is the main road thoroughfare through Kalara. Churches in the suburb comprise St. Martin's Anglican Church and Kalara Uniting Church on Karanga Avenue. The Swain Gardens were donated to Ku Ringai Council by Mr. Swain, a Sydney bookseller, in the 1920s, and are today maintained by the council and volunteers. The gardens have been listed by the National Trust of Australia. Kalara is served by two public primary schools, Kalara Public School and Beaumont Road Public School. The suburb is also home to Kalara High School, one of the highest performing non-selective government secondary school in New South Wales. A short-lived private school in Kalara, Abbotshone College, counted two future prime ministers among its pupils. Kalara is also home to some child care centres, including Handprints Preschool and Child Care Commercial Developments are located along the length of the Pacific Highway, including the Greengate Hotel. Residents usually travel to nearby suburbs of Gordon, Macquarie Park and Chatswood for regular shopping. The majority of residential properties are built in the Federation and Californian bungalow styles, although the suburb includes many other styles. The Harry and Penelope Seidler House at 13 Kalong Avenue was designed by Harry and Penelope Seidler. The 1960s era modern design home, constructed with reinforced masonry walls, concrete floors and roof, rubble stone retaining walls and fireplace, won the Wilkinson Award in 1967. At the 2016 census, 57. 5% of occupied private dwellings were separate houses and 40. 5% were flat or apartments. The average household size was 2. 9 people. For federal elections, Kalara lies in the electorate of Bradfield, currently represented by Paul Fletcher. For state elections, Kalara falls under the state electoral districts of Davidson and Kuringai. Kuringai is represented by Alistair Henskins. The member for Davidson is Jonathan O'Day. In terms of local government, Kalara is part of the Ku Ringai Municipal Council. Rosetta Avenue in the 2016 Australian Census, the total population of Kalara was 10,574 people, 47. 5% were male and 52. 5% were female. 53. 7% of people were born in Australia. The most common countries of birth were China 11. 5%, England 4. 7%, Hong Kong 3. 9%, South Korea 2. 7%, and New Zealand 1. 8%. 61. 1% of people only spoke English at home. Other languages spoken at home included Mandarin 13. 9%, Cantonese 7. 6%, Korean 3. 2% and Japanese 1. 0%. The most common responses for religion were no religion 35. 5%, 5%, Catholic 17. 7% and Anglican 15. 8%, of persons aged 15 years and over, 59. 1% were married, 28. 2% never married, 5. 8% widowed 5. 2% divorced, and 1. 6% separated. The median weekly personal income was 951 Australian dollars, compared with 662 Australian dollars in Australia. The median weekly household income was 2,534 Australian dollars, compared with 1,438 Australian dollars in Australia. 
The median weekly family income was 2,918 Australian dollars, compared with 1,734 Australian dollars in Australia. Thanks for watching.